me fuck, I just stood on a stingray right there. It's just around me somewhere. Holy fuck. You can see the big bloody hell. Right here. I just stood on the bastard. Shit. I was lucky I didn't get stung, man. He could have got these skinny legs and right there. Jeez, that was lucky. I walked out here to put this net back out. Fuck me dead, that was really lucky. Uh, right, I don't think I'm gonna walk any further. I'm too deep. That was very lucky. I'll leave it there. Come back and check it later. Shit. Getting stung by a stingray is incredibly painful and that was just lucky I stood on him and he must be facing the wrong way to get me the sting because normally they'll try to flick you. So when you walk through the water, you move your legs like that with your toes. So you bump it first with your toe instead of standing on it like I did. I was just being silly. I know how to walk through this water. I've done it many times and I've bumped stingrays before but there's no cure for stupid. Well this was a really good catch and uh, it's still in the water now, but that won't be for much longer. That's the most that I've ever caught. It's the most crabs I've ever caught. Set up. So we've got the sliding between the sinker and the swivel. This is the oil of anchovy and garlic, because we all know how much garlic is out there in the sea and how much sharks enjoy it. That all over them. Smear that. Like this. Jeez, it smells good enough for me to eat. I think they make it for us humans. We'll put some inside on this body there with the crackers. There we go, mate. So there's the system I'm using. I've got a breakaway sinker with a swivel. And then this here slides up and down that to the swivel at the end. Oh, that wasn't as good as I could have gone out, but I'll keep it right. All these guys and their bikes coming down here. That looks like fun. Right, back to my fishing. My second rod is a cheap warehouse one with a cheap reel. I've got again a breakaway sinker on it and I've got a couple of baits, one's a fake crab with a little bit of fish but a kahawai to help it sort of trick it into the smell and the other one's just a piece of kahawai. Hey. Big snapper. Is it a snapper? Yeah, yeah, it was washed up yesterday. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a waste, eh? Yeah, I would have. I actually saw it yesterday and I thought about it. it probably came off someone's set line and died, I'd imagine. Oh, so if you out there's a big snapper, isn't it? Yeah. Is it just too late to say it's like food? Well, unless you like a little bit of uh, natural probiotics with your fish, I'll say give it a miss, eh? Yeah. Got one here and I think we've got one over there. Something going on here. I think we're on. Yes, we're on. We're on. Yes. Woohoo! The old warehouse rod's done it. Happy days. I'm only fishing on a bait here, so I don't know what it's going to be. Feels like it could be a shark. Come on, mate, give it up, give it up. Oh, is it a stingray? Looks like a big fucking stingray out there, I can see at the top. Oh, shit. You can see it coming to the top there, big black thing moving along. Look at it. I don't want to catch a stingray. It's 
It's gonna take a long time to get in. She's banning. See a dark patch out in the water there. Normally a stingray runs further than this. I don't know what this is, but it's just like giving a nod. Down for about probably 15 minutes and well, I'm pretty sure it's a short tail stingray the way it's playing. This straight pull all the time and then every so often having a fight but I've seen a shadow on the water but I haven't seen the telltale sting on the wings but we're getting slowly closer in but this is gonna snap. It's a very light, uh, too light for a fish like this. I may not get it in either, it may snap before we get it in. Have you seen them yet? Yeah. You're right, you're guessing it is a stingray? Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. I was hoping to catch a rig. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll put bait on there. Bait catches stingrays and crabs catch rig. Oh, he's starting to run again. Jeez, what a battle. What a battle. Each time we get a bit closer, there's his tail poking out now. Come on, mate. This has been going on for 40 minutes. He must be getting tired, keeping the pressure on him. There's his barb poking out now. This guy's putting up a hell of a fight. Been going on for over an hour. Still getting closer. Every time I get him reasonably close and he starts to go back out again. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with him when I get him up on the beach because I haven't got my knife on me. This guy just is putting up such a fight. It's not going to come on. <laughs> I found this bloke here on the beach. He's, uh, he's helped me out. That's a big stingray. Didn't find a gap, but I found a spear. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna take this fucking tail off before it gets me. So what do you do with the bar? Don't stand on it, that's one thing. <laughs> yeah. Still kicking. Yeah, it's there and I killed it. Yeah, I used to make them into sort of fake scops when I was a kid, punch rings out of them. I wouldn't say they're flash. Okay, thanks for your help, Blair. Good to meet you too, bro. Thank you. See you later.
This one wing, honey. Huge. Taking this off the cartilage, you can see this flesh and you can see the nerves. I'll do that along here. Lift up, even though the fish has been dead for like three hours, it still lifts up when you put the knife in. Pays to have a real sharp knife to get this off. This is the top piece. Cartilage, right. Let's see if we can take the skin off this. I'm guessing, like this. But I don't really know. Let's try this. It's a bit like doing a shark. Oh, not so easy. Wee bit on there, but otherwise most of it's come off. And a fillet. Okay. That's uh that's different. Right. Perfect. It's a lot of flesh of just one wing. So the other wing's going to Arwe and she's gonna do it all herself. Oh yep. And there it goes. Wow. We might better get more plants off those. Oh it's actually wasabi on that as well. Now we can possibly grow those roots. Thank you, Adventure Dan. He gave that to Awi and Awi's come over and she's sashimied it. It's snapper. And I'm dribbling just like holding it. Literally. I have harvested some wasabi, which I'm going to share with. Are we right now? I'm going to make up a paste and we're going to eat. We're going to eat this together. Sandpaper. I don't have time to throw the shark skin out that I've got. Shark skin's what you normally use, but this works fine. Take the wrapper off, sweetheart, and get ready to have your mind blown with this. It is next level. It's really good. The smell coming off it's amazing. Getting this nice paste now. Man, it smells good. That's perfect, look at that. Beautiful paste. That's what you want. How do you rate that? Good. As expected. Well, it's taken three years to get that there. Yeah. Three years of hard work. Yeah. No, did you, did you see my wedding? Oh, you, you, go, you get this off here, do you? Yeah. Ah, oh, gotcha, right, like this. Ah, oh, right, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, put plenty on there. Ah, uh, okay. No more hot? No, I'll make you some more. Have some more. I'll do another one. There you go, good pace. Turn to that while it's fresh. Ah uh, yes, you're just perfection with the chopsticks. Mm -hmm. That is our entree. I'm going to now do the stingray very quickly. Drawing a piece. I'm doing this one for Awi, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut across the grain, the fish bites like that. Put that aside. Make a nice egg wash. Garlic powder. Just a little bit, not too much. Give it a bit of a turn. Tiny little peppers. I'm trying to keep my sleeve out of the egg at this stage. Just a little bit of salt over the fish. Now I've got some beef dripping in the pan, heating.
we're going to go in the egg one piece at a time. Very okay, quick process, really. In the corn flour, in the chili. And remembering which one went in first, we can take it out. And ready to eat. I've had stingray in a restaurant. I've actually never cooked it myself. This is the first. So I'm quite keen to know what it's like. First of all, just by itself. Oh, good. Very mm. easy. Oh, yum. Mm. Why don't we eat that more? That's really good. Mm. Wow. That's delicious. That's actually better than the rig I had the other day, and I thought rig was my favourite. Right. This is delicious. Wasabi is really nice, but I feel it's wasted on it. <laughs> it's too too good for it, but it's, it's delicious. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Wow. Hey, give Stingray a go. It's the first time I've actually cooked it. I have eaten it. I ate it when I was in Creta, and I also ate it in Corsica years ago, and I paid a lot of money for it. Uh, do you want to finish that off and I cook some more? Yeah, eat that for your dinner? Well, I'm going to make uh, one for me. I always got to go home and feed her son, so that's why she's eating first. Thanks for watching my kitchen cook. I recommend Stingray, you give it a crack. Don't give it too long in the pan. That was probably what? So it'll be dry? It'll, it'll, be, too it'll be too dry, yeah, it was two minutes. That's perfect, couple of minutes. Egg wash, bit of garlic powder I've used there, bit of salt, but obviously no salt, because I always said it still needs more. So you can always add salt, but you can't take it away, so that's good. And you could maybe serve it with some rice or some fresh vegetables. We've just done a, these here. We're going to eat these. I'm going to eat that's going to be my salad tonight. And I'm really, I'm really stoked with that. It's worked out really good. Really good. Very, very basic. I'm using uh, corn flour. So that's gluten free too. Mmm. I'm pleased that worked out. Good luck going fishing, going cooking. Be good. Can't be good. Be careful. We'll see you next video. Do you like my shirt? Hmm? Do you like my shirt? <laughs> Shark. Shirt. Shark shirt? <laughs> Why is it like you know, like a someone who like uh, is like a like a car salesman or insurance salesman or something? That's in a shark, like a pool yeah. shark. It's different. Do you mean shark or shark? No, shark. Oh shark. Okay. That's not like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Because you don't trust me, Mary? I put it on for you. Didn't you, you didn't like it? No, I like it. You like it? Well, I was only wearing my hunting clothes. I thought, well, I'll dress up for this meal. You don't <laughs> like it, no? Yeah, I like it. But I'm like a shark. <laughs> no. The shark and sh shirt. Yeah. It's a similar sound. I like it. Mm. That's really good. I'm stoked today. that, eh? I'm going to start keeping more stingray. Generally mm -hmm. I try to unhook them and let them go, but that's the last one. Is the rig taste more ammonia? Okay. Well, I can't taste any ammonia then, no. No, this one is not. Yeah, but no. This, the shark. Maybe, but I don't My taste imagination it. is yeah. always. Uh, grey gray shark or grey boys that we give you, that has more ammonia tasting. Mm. Rig can. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm stoked with that. It's really good. It's fantastic, actually. Mm -hmm. mm. It's always good to find something new, isn't it? Mm. Mm. See you later, guys.